my adventure. I am originally from Colombia. In 2006, I joined Walmart in Vancouver. In September 2008, I had the opportunity to move to Fort McMurray with the same company. After two weeks in this new city, one of my customers offered me a job for a company specializing in soil and water analysis for the petroleum companies located near Fort McMurray. I knew it was an extraordinary opportunity. My adventure started from the moment I was hired as a soil lab technician. My work was very interesting and challenged my mind. Using two kilograms of soil samples, I was able to analyze the moisture content and sieve analysis of clay, gravel, and sand, and also the qualities of concrete. The test results helped me help, sorry, help engineers to study the terrain designated for new construction. In that career, I learned many things that I never ever imagined before, especially when I was a preschool teacher back in Colombia, making sign castles with a three-year-old children. <laughs> After I assimilated all the techniques in the laboratory, I was sent to the field to become more knowledgeable about places under construction. For my safety, I had to wear personal protection equipment from top to bottom, hard hat, safety glasses, coveralls, leather gloves, and safety steel toe boots. The boots are a camel color and are very cushioned for working long hours. Their shoelaces are as black as the coal from Colombia, and they have a strong solid sole with an excellent grip. When I wore all my personal protection equipment, I possess the power with I possess the power to speak with all the petroleum managers, supervisors, and superintendents because my steel boots made me feel strong, safe, and secure. Like a steel shield that protects a knight in armor. I walk in them step by step, day by day, for six and a half years. My days began with a two-hour drive from Fort McMurray to the petroleum companies under construction. Many times I had to sit and wait in my 4x4 four four track until the terrain was compacted and I was allowed to enter the area with my tools. They included a scraper plate, drill pin, four pound sledgehammer and a pain extraction tool together with my machine called a densometer. That machine helped, helped me to read the compaction on the soil. Carrying my tools was hard and heavy and I was grateful for my protective boots. I enjoy my position for many reasons, especially driving to places far away from the city to the middle of nowhere. I drove many gravel roads, roads and many miles each year in all weather conditions, all in my steel tall boots. My reward was to see and photograph bears moose, foxes, and deer eating grass or crossing the roads. My weekly schedule was between 40 to 70 hours. Many times I worked 21 consecutive days. 
Sometimes I was overwhelmed by my fatigue, but my supervisor told me, by the end of the month, your paycheck will make you very happy. <laughs> and she was right. <laughs> my job gave me financial stability, and I was able to pay my debts and save some money. In this position, I had the opportunity to stay in camps located in isolated areas in the middle of nowhere, and my life was simple and easy. My room was tidied up and organized by the housekeepers. All our meals were ready on time, and we had social areas like game rooms and gyms. Having friends was difficult though, because I had to move to different projects constantly. Today, when I look at my steel toed work boots, I remember all my challenges as a soil technician and how much protection they give me for so many years. Now, I have traded my work boots for hiking boots in the Vaux Valley, where the deer, elk, and bears still greet me this time on the hiking trails. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.